Hello to all of my amazing Virgos. This is Queen Amon Ra coming to you with your Midweek Wednesday video, Virgos. Let's do it. The video is for the 15th of November through the 15th of December. Virgos, we are still officially in a new moon phase, right? So please get your rest. A lot of times we're in a new moon phase. There's a whole lot of stuff trying to, you're still trying to process things from old, the old cycle, the previous cycle. Please get your rest. Rest doesn't always mean like you're sleeping, but just kind of rest your brains. Like, okay, trying to think, what do I want to, what do I want to manifest during this, um, this cycle? We're going to have a full moon, I believe on the 27th in Gemini. You and Gemini actually share the ruling planet Mercury, right? So this is where you're going to really start this practice of sending out clear and concise messages to the universe because you're already a receiver of messages. Remember, your ruling planet is not only the messenger and communication planet, it's also uh, trade and commerce. It's also... Um, the uh you know uh factual memory of things it's also the your opinion about things um it is so just i want you to look up online like the, the different ways of communication right because it's not just verbal and nonverbal. There's all sorts of social media communication is books as a form of communication, you know, print, all of that. So let's get into it. Let's get into it to make sure you're sending out messages to the universe, you're clearing concise messages to the universe, and then getting the, the feedback that, you know, clear and concise feedback. First card in the um, out of the deck is the Eight of Swords. Here we have the Ace of... Mm -mm. Eight of Swords, the Eight of Cups, the King of Wands, the Hierophant card, the Emperor card, and the Strength card. Oh, Lord. Okay. Here we have the Eight of Swords. Mm -mm -mm. Here we also have the Eight of Cups. Not an eight energy. This energy landing on the dark side of the number eight. Here we have the King of Wands. Somebody was definitely... Somebody really underestimated you, Virgos. They really, really underestimated you. Here we have the Hierophant card. Here we also have the Emperor card. And then here we also have the Strength card, right? So you're dealing with energies who are, I mean, landing on a dark side of life. But that's a choice. Remember, we choose what side. It's not just waking up on a light side of bed. It's choosing to land on the dark side of life. I'm talking about arrogant, dogmatic, prideful, see you as competition, don't want your light to shine. I mean, people who are, is my way or the highway, impulsive, bullying type of energy, jealous. I mean, just is, they really underestimated you and trying to drive you crazy because that's what, that was the goal. Uh, and by the way, before I even really get into this, I'm talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your birth chart, not just your sun, moon, rising, or Venus. If you're interested in a personal reading, my information is down below. If you're on my Patreon account, thank you so much for joining me there as well and supporting that channel as well. If there's any, any videos you want me to record to upload on Patreon for you all, please drop a comment below because I'm going to, I'm taking notes for everybody who's at, you know, suggestions for the Patreon account and I'm uploading those videos, I'm pre preparing and uploading those videos for you. So let's get back to your reading. Let's get back to your reading because some people really underestimated you and it, they are hot, 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 super hot. What Source is saying to you, as much as they underestimated your power of your analytical skills and the power of your intellect, I always tell people, Virgo, you all are extremely smart and you already know that, right? So I'm not, I'm not tooting somebody's horn, but some energies really thought they were going to bully you into a certain way of being. But see, guess what? When you pulled out that sword, somebody may have Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra in that birth chart. You sent a very strong message to some people that I will cut you off just like that. Don't ever get it twisted. That's the energy you sent out. And guess what? You did it in such a classy way that that's what's throwing people off because your heart is no longer at war. It's no longer fuzzy. See, when you see this right here, the fuzziness, your heart is no longer war. You say, I'm, I'm leaving that, I'm leaving that, that blue heart, that blue energy behind me. I'm leaving that, you know, I'm getting away from heart, hot headed energy. I have a lot of ideas. Now that I'm fired up, you said some things, you did some stuff and you underestimated me. The way you did it, 
I mean, the way you sent that energy back, Virgo, hit them in a way that they now gone crazy. I mean, for real, they sitting around somewhere with a straight jacket on. That's what they feel like in their mind, pacing the floor, burning a hole in a the rug. They can't get it together. And the sad thing about it is that why would somebody want to, you know, you know, somebody's demons have overtaken them when they intentionally running out here trying to drive people crazy, mess up people's lives. Play these little silly games. So let's get back. Let's, mm. So like I said, when you're closing out cycles, you're closing them out strong. You're closing out strong. Yeah, judgment against them. Judgment is against them. Oh, my God. Judgment is in your favor. And judgment is against them. And so you out here trying to break generational cycles, chains, and curses, and they trying to rise up from the from the earth like the Grim Reaper. And sources are saying they coming up talking about they got secrets, they know certain things about you, other people don't know, and so on and so forth. And they didn't, they never saw this sword coming. They never saw this sword coming because at some point somebody got sick and tired of being your your um your your um your peace being disrupted. Remember these two cards right here are ruled by Venus, right? These energies that you're dealing with green with envy, they like disrupting people's peace. They, you know, things are not going well for them in their personal and or professional life. So they can't, they, they not, they not thriving. Like they want, they thought that they were going to cause you not to thrive. So this is like, you know, they green with envy, all kinds of stuff. And so this is you right here, closing out cycles, feeling a lot better. You feel changed. You feel liberated and free. Here we also have the six of swords and your ancestor says, come on, sail away from this deep disappointment. Cause I mean, they just, they just want, I mean, they, they, they upset to some degree. They feel like you harshly judge them. Your silence for them. They feel like, okay, they harshly judging me. Here we also have the three of wands and here you are moving forward, expansion all around you, taking a leap of faith. You're inspiring people. This is the fire that came out. I have all these ideas. I'm inspiring people and I'm, I'm, I'm making room for people who are inspiring me. They have a clear agenda. They're not trying to cause me mental fog or all of that other stuff. Yeah, they, they really underestimated you. They really, really underestimated you. And now they looking like a fool. So... But you, that was not your intention. You really, really try to go along with some people. But they just, people take advantage. People will assume that you're, you're uh, trying to take your kindness for weakness. But see, they didn't think he was going to cut them off. They did not. It, it just, like I said, it's hitting some people like a ton of bricks. But you decided, hey, listen. They they try to play with the empress. They try to play the interest. You had to let them know. Hey, emperor has arrived. I care more about being respected than being liked. So as much as I love you, I don't have a problem bringing out snip, snip, okay? So yeah, you're definitely dealing with some energies that try to get you to react to certain things. And it didn't work because what people were uh, helping that you would respond in a fleshly way. But see, this is when you know, you. this is when you got to be careful of people who can control their emotions, especially when they hit you with the smirk, like the, oh, okay, that, that's, what, that's the frequency you want. Oh, okay. I'm not even join, joining you down in your own personal hell. And they just walk away. They already know. They already know what's coming your way because the energy that they sent out to you is coming back to them. That's how karma works. And so you're operating in childlike faith moving forward. And like I said before, you're leaving all that mess behind. You're not even interested in the game. Not anymore. See, when you look back, what you look back on is just, wow, I can't even believe that the energies caused me to say some things or to, you know, that kind of thing. But... It's a memory. Remember when we talk about the messages that's coming down to everybody right now while we're all supposed to be in rest phase, right? We're supposed to be with this new moon phase, right? This is where you're processing lessons you learned from the last uh, cycle and the messages that are coming through Virgos. And, um, and somebody's feeling like this, Dame of Pentacles energy. Somebody is feeling wiser. You're feeling richer because you're not holding space for them and that gossip and the messiness and all of that other stuff but yeah they they really underestimated you here we had a queen of uh, wands you feel happy charismatic and free because you're not carrying that weight on your shoulders anymore this is a justice card imagine carrying their arrogance and their dogmatic and prideful energy and carrying their um it's my way or the highway or i'm gonna stay connected to you i'm gonna bully you i'm gonna make you do it i imagine carrying that on your weight on the that weight on your shoulders sources uh-uh we're not doing that. So I say Virgo has been too kind, been trying to adjust, trying to adapt. And Virgo has been too kind, but you underestimated their, 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 their inner strength. 
See, they thought meek meant weak, right? They need to get a dictionary for real because your meekness, they're seeing just how powerful you really are. Here we also have the five of pentacles. So yeah, they caused some kind of emotional uh, wounding for you. Had you sitting outside your vault door like, wow, you know, you know, again, two types of energies causing emotional wounding and emotional wounding could come from them, say, them saying something. You weren't good enough. You know, you weren't worthy. You're not perfect. You expect everybody else to be perfect, but you're not even perfect yourself trying to compare you to other people. I mean, just ridiculousness, right? So they having a tower moment. Yep. And it's nothing that they could do about it. And there's nothing you can do about it because you're having an awakening. That awakening for you is that, you know what? I'm not carrying that. I'm not carrying that arrogance, that heavy. It's just too heavy. That ego carrying all of that on your scales. Just here we have the two of wands. You'd rather carry another bag of money. Here we have the two of pentacles, the knight of the knight of swords, the king of wands. We also have the knight of wands. Uh, yeah. Knight of wands. Look at them, still lost, waiting for your fire to go out, waiting for you to be burned out again. But that's not going to, because you have an internal flame, an eternal burning internal flame, right? So an eternal, right? Eternal, as well as internal flame, right? And so they're just waiting for you to get burned out. There's two energies in particular you had to release. They burned a bridge. They burned, they, I mean, just exhausted, just, you know. They burn the bridge. And here's the thing about it. Remember, time is relative. So it could have been a distant past. It could have been far back in the past when you think about it. Because Source is saying, hey, look, <clears throat> you got as far away from the energies, first and foremost. You even stopped talking about them. So don't even be surprised if you have a dream about some energies this week, uh, Virgos. You like, oh, you may have already had, by the time you watch this video, you may say, I already had a dream. I was wondering why I had a dream about them. Because it could have been years ago. Remember, time is relative. But sources look showing you where you are now versus where you were then. They're trying to drive you crazy out of your mind, whatever. Mm -mm. Here we have the Knight of Wands. Sources just stay as far away from them as possible because they want you to prove. They want you to prove to other people that what they said about you wasn't true. You're not interested. Like you hit it with the reverse. You said, nah, uh-uh. Instead of me going back to show you that I'm a good person, I'm a nice person, I'm a smart person, I got to show you my degrees online, I got to show you, I got to flex and floss online and show you that I, that I, you know, was going to make it, that I'm successful. You're not doing any of that. You're not giving it any air whatsoever. <laughs> High five, Virgos. So yes, Virgos out here, Virgoing, right? You're not showing none of that. You just like you whatever. I'm let I'm come I'm I'm letting you believe. I'm letting whoever believe whatever, right? So yeah, you got an additional stream of income. Now they sitting outside the vault door, looking, you know, looking around, you know, using their emotions as a crutch, because they put they they made their bed and now they got to lie in that. So you moved on. You done moved on. So kudos and congratulations to you. See, somebody got it all the way twisted around. Uh, let's see. Let's see what else we got going on here, Virgos. This is good. This is real good. Yeah, so... Uh, mm, 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 mm. So, yeah, so what's coming to you? Okay, so there's a lot of great ideas, both in your personal and your professional life, inside your vault door. Now, let's talk about that, what's inside your vault door, right? So you have a, you, you, source is trying to, this is what's inside your vault door. They sitting outside the vault door. Like when, when is, when is Virgo going to open up the door? We keep knocking on the door. We, why did we, cause you, you'd already moved on your ancestors said, come on, let's get out of here. So, um, what's inside the vault door? This is good. This is why you feel so happy, charismatic and free. So let's talk about that. So you got a lot of ideas, you know, for your business. You got a lot of ideas. Like somebody has eight talents, like eight gifts and talents, right? And you're no longer burying those gifts and talents on, you know, like wasting that time on people who just keep cutting you down with their words and actions and keep burning bridges with you. So you, you far beyond that sources, get away from that knight of swords and knight of wands. I mean, knight of, yeah, knight of swords and knight, get as far away from that beat on that drum, break up the monotony, right? You know what I'm saying? So inside your vault, though, you got a lot of highly intelligent people inside the vault. They're not playing no mind games. They have total clarity in where they're going. So um, they are also highly gifted as well. So Source is sitting you around a table of some energy, some other creatives. That's what Source is trying to do. You know, like, you you know, the people who decided to write you off and look at you. And I'm talking to you if you have Virgo anywhere in your birth chart. So I'm talking to myself as well. So anywhere in your birth chart. Source is saying you got all these great ideas and people are watching. They're watching like this. 
Oh Lord. Okay. They watching like, mm. they watching like this, watching every little thing. So if you're on social media, they watching your page, they watching this, they watching that. They looking at every little thing you're doing, trying to pick out, nitpick everything. Right. And so source is saying, see, that's the beauty of, that's the beauty of you saying when I plant seeds and I'm around people who see everybody that cuts you off is not your enemy. Some people say, you know what? I already know what my purpose is. You know, Virgo's hanging around some people that's just, you know, toxic energy and they and I and they understand how you how you flow, Virgos. You're a highly adaptable sign, right? But so not everybody who cuts you off is is your enemy, right? Just like everybody who stays around is not your friend either. So source is saying to you, when you were able to sift through all of that and the people that stuck it around and they still trying to drive you crazy because they like all your wonderful ideas. And this is in personal and professional life for some of you all. Um, your personal and your professional life. And they didn't even realize you they were being analyzed. You all are the I analyze. <laughs> They didn't even realize, okay, I got to stay close to Virgo. I got to get all Virgo's ideas. I got to steal, basically we're stealing your ideas, right? I got to steal all of Virgo's idea and cause a Virgo to be emotionally wounded. You know how like when I'm, you know what I'm saying, Virgos? Like sometimes you run a job, your manager, they take all your ideas and then make it seem like they, they sitting there with their chest all poked out and proud. Yeah, you know, uh, I can't, you know, I spearheaded this team. They're not giving you any credit whatsoever. Until you say, oh, okay, I see what this is. All right, okay. Let me hit you with this reverse. So, like I said, judgment is in your favor. Like I said, you released some things off of your internal scales and you decided to move on. You Nobody will not be stealing your ideas. You moved on. Tons, tons of opportunities are coming your way. Yeah, so like I said, what they, they kept you close trying to steal all of your ideas. You said, I, I got something for you. And it's not even vengeful. It's just like, okay, and when you start getting quiet and start thinking, okay, let me start analyzing some things, weighing the pros and cons. And this is in your personal and your professional life. Now look at somebody booked and busy and not burdened at all. Yeah, not burdened at all. Here we have the three of wands. So somebody's definitely taking a leap of faith. Did I see that? Yeah, three of wands came out twice, both in your personal and your professional life. You're taking a leap of faith. And so it's just saying all the time that you put in something and felt like you were wasting your time, I'm going to give all of that back to you. All I needed to do is for you to move on from something. Move on, move on, move on. There could be a Taurus involved. There could be an Aries involved. There could be a Leo involved. There could be a Pisces somewhere kind of kind of in, involved somewhere. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So you're definitely gonna be feeling lucky, but but it's not luck. It's the fact that you took the high road. Whatever somebody was doing to try to burn you out with their narcissism, causing you anxiety, all kinds of stuff, Virgos. You took the high road. You said, "I'm going. This is going to. This is the fire that I needed, so I can move forward and not fall back. I can spring forward into something and not fall back." So. You definitely um, on a different frequency. Here we have the nine of coins, uh, which is a uh, leg. I mean, which is um, financial independence. Here is legacy wealth. I, I spoke it right before I pulled the card. Legacy wealth, and then also six of wands. I see you being victorious. So somebody is definitely back in a saddle. Like somebody, you know, you may have been down for a minute because you may have felt like, okay, I felt the Lord. You know, I thought something was gonna come from one direction, but I feel like. You know, I, this is the beautiful beauty, the beauty of you all learning how to adapt. I thought something was going to come in one direction, but it's coming in another direction. That's Source's way of throwing people off who would have. Let me see how I can word this. The more and the closer and closer somebody was getting to opening up their vault door. People were starting to swarm around you like a, uh, what would it be, like a vulture. They were swarming around you like a vulture, warming up to you one minute, blowtorching you the next. And so it for you, when we talk about root chakra, we're talking about some uh, being developed between the ages of zero and seven, right? So this would be like, for instance, you know, people knowing that you're about to come into money or something good is about to happen for you. And, um, and they're seeing like, okay. Like, I feel like in the workplace, somebody may have said something kind about you that you weren't aware of, Virgo. Like somebody may have said, you know, um, um, that person over there, like somebody told me that they were the main one that was working on that project to work, but they would never tell you, right? 
but they'll make it saying like, I'm taking all the credit for myself. I was the, I was the one that's in charge and I spearheaded all this other, they're not giving you no credit whatsoever. Right. And something and the something is really source is saying to you, it's time for you to move on from something, right? Even in your personal life, when I feel like somebody had, uh, where's the card? Somebody could have been married to somebody many years ago, probably like 20 years ago or something like that. 20, 30, maybe all oh, close to 30 years ago, 20 something, maybe 25 years ago. Somebody could have been married to somebody a long time ago and only take what resonates with you. And you could have had a dream about it. The in law, the other side of the family, right? And how they burned you and how they, you know, try to burn your reputation and burn you out and just very narcissistic energy all wrapped up in all of that. People bullying people and all of that other side of the family. And Source is saying the best thing you could have done for yourself. And it's coming up now because judgment is on them. You know, sometimes you think about justice, you just think about court justice, right? But the fact that you remove them from your scales and the fact that you got your strength back, you've been motivating people. That's why I always talk about time is relative. You've been motivating people. You've been working really hard. You've been inspiring. You've been adding like clear agenda, I mean, like clear focus and, you know, um, communicating to people with just such clarity and, um, you know, considering other people's emotions, not trying to burn them out. I mean, it's all good. And now they sitting back looking like, Hmm. You know, kind of looking at that Virgo like, hmm, okay, who do they think they are? I mean, they think they little missed or Mr. Mr. or Miss Perfect. And you weren't even trying to come across as perfect. You were really just trying to you were really trying to inspire and motivate other people. So like I said before, whoever it is, you try to inspire, you try to motivate people, but look at them now, you know, and it's not even something that you wished on them. Things are just not working out well for them. It really isn't working out well for them now. So here we go. A fiery climax approaches. Yep, a fiery climax approaches. And um, I, I feel like, like I said, because you, you you, and your loved ones, meaning the people that's connected to you, they are safe. They're, they're really, really safe. But a fiery climax approaches. And when I say loved ones, I'm talking about people that, that, are, that have access to your, um, your inner courts. They're safe. Because the other ones that did everything they could possibly do to harm you, um, it, they're, they're the ones that's, you know, judgment against them, right? So you want to do a health checkup. 26, stay laser focused. Eight is the money exchange number. So it's not just about money. We know that by now, right? Because you all are really not a money hungry zodiac sign. There's a lot of signs that's not money hungry, but you're not a money hungry sign. It has to be some kind of a purpose tied to it. So source is saying, just stay laser focused. Stay laser focused because I feel like, I feel like somebody who is connected to somebody that you love, they're so busy, angry at you that a loved one of yours wants to, they driving a, the loved one crazy and they don't even want to be connected to them, right? Um, and so, like I said, you won the prize. You, 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 you won. It may not feel like that at first, but something that somebody's heart and soul was in, like, you know, you're just like, okay, I, 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 you know, you all are highly intuitive sign, highly spiritual side. That's why you see so much fire here. Something, somebody has a, a feeling that somebody that you love doesn't want to be attached to them. And that person that you love that doesn't want to be attached to them, Virgo is like, I'm trying to figure out how I can get away from them. Like I'm trying to get as far away from them as possible. And they, of course, they're going to blame you. Of course. I mean, you know, you, you're dealing with a person with a God complex. They can't do no wrong. They don't believe in apologies, right? The word apologies for them is not, it's torn out the dictionary. <laughs> then for them, they like apologize for what? Everything is somebody else's problem. Their fingers are out here just pointing at everybody. They only see the four fingers pointing back at them. They too busy po pointing their fingers at everybody else. So you already know what it is. Bottom line is that Source is saying to you, here you are with your legacy wealth. Here you are, financial independence. Things are working well for you. And they are on the outside, you know, still looking at money as paper and coins because their intention was never to help somebody else. They only want to help their own circle of people. And the whole purpose of us having gifts and talents is to bless the world with them. You know what I'm saying? Their whole, their, like, I'm, mm, mm, mm. I, I, I just, <sighs> yeah.
All they want to do is, um, you know, look like, you know, look at everybody admiring what they look like, their house, what they look live in. They ain't helping other people. You know, they want to talk about, yeah, see, I, I, it's like, like somebody's manager at work. Yeah, I did all this on my own. And, you know, those little peon employees. Ah, <laughs> oh, woo, people are tripped. But anyway, it backfired. It didn't work. Here we have inner power. That's, didn't I say that in the beginning, Virgos, before I even pulled the car? See, inner power. They did not know your inner power. They so busy around here walking around like a peacock, you know, strutting this stuff. And, oh, I'm I'm this and I'm that and I'm blah, 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 this, that, and the other. And here you are just quiet. They never saw it coming. They they never saw. This, this you right here. Quietly sailing off. You don't even see, you don't even see no dip. You don't even see water splashing. Do you? This is a quiet, I'm just quietly just removing myself from your life. You don't even see it. You just, you just quietly just saying, I'm just moving on. I'm not even disappointed anymore. I, I know exactly what it is. It's sad actually to see somebody in their own hell. It's like a, a live fish that was thrown in a pan. <laughs> Lord, it's like a live fish thrown in a pan of hot grease. I mean, just floundering, just just bouncy, 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 bounce, bounce. I mean, just hot grease just popping all over the walls and just and flour, just <laughs> or cornmeal or whatever. <laughs> they weren't ready for you, Virgo. They underestimated you. They did. And when you sell the way, you, I mean, you sell the way it and see, they tell everybody, oh, they had like a thief in the night. They sneaky. I never should have trusted them because things are not happening the way they thought it was going to happen. Somebody was holding up an entire department all by themselves. Mm -mm -mm. I mean, just carrying a weight of that world on your shoulders all by yourself. But see, because you're so analytical, you 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 knew everybody's job all that time when people just left you abandoned there. You was learning everybody's job, not because you you were into. That's just how you're wired. You just like to you just analyze everything, right? You know. So here we have whew, number twenty. Let it be known: no will or desire is more powerful than I embodied. They did not. They did not depend on the fact that you were going to sit down quietly and start meditating. You know, and just say, you know what, I just, I, I, I just, I see a hedge of protection around me and the people that, that I want to go along with me, but I need to physically get away from those types of energies. So that's why I said in one part of your life, you may have felt disappointment in one part of your life, but in another part where you felt the strongest, like I got to save some people, I got to hang around because I already know what they dealing with. Okay. That's where the reward is coming from. And that's where you're going to start seeing your financial independence come from there. That's where you're going to see the financial independence come from. So yeah, somebody thought, oh yeah, you know, uh, Virgo, they, we're not getting any problems from Virgo until ta-da. <laughs> Virgos, they had a nightmare. They were like, oh my God, where Virgo come from? That's your spirit popped up, but you're your physical body to move on. But see your spirit popped up and they like, oh shoot. Like, I thought Virgo was gone. I thought, dang, you know, mm -hmm. because the way it's coming back, Virgo, is people asking about you. Well, wait a minute. Hold on. We met Virgo. Virgo was nice. Like, what, what are you talking about? We. This is what they're saying. Like, people are actually, you know, Virgo, remember the Virgo used to be in this department? Wait, I mean, they're not, well, whatever your name is, Virgo, I'm going to call you just Virgo, right? So answer to Virgo. <laughs> so where is Virgo? Oh yeah, uh, we we had to we had to whatever you know how people make up lies right whatever okay whatever, um or or so or you know just even in the family you know like somebody's ex from many years ago oh yeah we you know they said this and they said that and blah 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 but wait and hold on now you know they they Virgo they not smart this is what they saying Virgo not smart they just you know they're just a pretty face or just a handsome face but they you know. They, there's not a whole lot between their two ears. Okay. Oh, really? You know, because I saw them on social media. They look like they don't good to me. <laughs> what you talking about? <laughs> Virgo, they, know, they never saw it coming. So when I say fist bump and high five, boom. Yes, Virgos. Do your thing. 
Yes, Virgos. See, people don't understand until you quietly just move on, move on, physically move on. They forgot that energy never dies. Your spirit, that's the spirit you've already laid the groundwork. So here we have trust. Allow me, divine, to give you my deepest longings, trusting you to know exactly how to handle them. That's right. Mm -mm -mm. What in the world? <laughs> Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Mm, mm, mm. They try to say all kinds of stuff, Virgo. I'm trying to burn you down. But here you go, letting go. Affirmations for letting go. I release what I can't control. I let go of doubt. I will not allow fear to stop me. I say goodbye to all that blocks my growth. I am weightless, free from burdens. I'm shifting my perspective. I am free from regret. Failure is a helpful feedback. Because that's what I'm saying. Like, source is going to give you your heart's desire. And remember, when we're talking about communication, you have sent out a message in your spirit that I really want this over here more than I want this. And so it says, okay, while this may disappoint you, this over here, this is where all of this is coming together for you. The money and the thing that you want is coming together for you. So don't spend too much time looking back and replaying stuff over and over and over again. Oh, they messed up my relationship or they talked negatively about me or they kept overlooking for me for uh, for uh, promotions and all of this because sources like this, you right here, you won the prize. They over there sitting down there having to deal with, you know, rebuilding their self-confidence because everything is crashing down around them. Everything. When I say everything, everything, that means excluding nothing. Everything is falling apart. So um, that's not what you wish on people. You don't wish karma on people because karma is not good or bad. It just is. Whatever they sent out to the universe to try to destroy you is coming back at them with that same force and speed. And so, and so the good thing for you is that you didn't talk negative about them. You ain't engaged in no gossip, no nothing, no, no harsh words. No, even when you felt like it's just like, okay, it's just too exhausting to even think. I don't even have the words. So you want to thank Source for just being too exhausted to even talk negatively about them. Because they kept coming up in your spirit. And, and sometimes it would come up with such force. But that's because that's the anger that was coming back at them. That was the same energy that they sent towards you. Boom, hitting them like a, a um, you know, like a destruction ball. Like a, like a, mm. It was, mm, mm, mm. I can't even tell y'all what I'm saying in the spirit because it just, it's not nice. It, it really is not. I have to let my spirit go down to the darkest, the darkest of the darkest of the thoughts. And bottom line is that whatever they sent your way is coming back at them full force. So, and that's not something that you can pray to stop that from happening because that's the energy they sent out. That karma is hitting them hard. It's hitting them real hard. Like, oh my God. Here we have 23. I'm adventurous. So you have a zest for life, Virgos, and you are very eager to experience anything and everything possible. You love change and excitement and you need both to feel truly alive. For you, life is an adventure to be lived to the fullest. And that's where all this burnout did. It's like, you know what? Let me, I'm not living my, I'm not living to my, my fullest. I'm not having life. I don't have the the vibrancy that I feel like I need to have. Why am I burning myself out with these energies over here? For some of you all, it's in your personal and professional life. And some of you all, it could be two energies in your personal life or two energies in your professional life. But whatever it is, everything is in your favor. So that's what I have for you, Virgos. Like I said, that's all I can say, for real. I mean, really, because somebody just really try to do it. They really try to drive you crazy, Virgo. Look, I'm sending good energy you all's way. Keep on, keep on rising to the top. Keep on being classy. You know, whoever it was, they knew what they was doing. They really, they knew. They knew exactly what they were doing. For you to say that they didn't, that would be naive. They knew exactly what they were doing. They were trying to drive you crazy. And guess what? It, it backfired. And then they sitting somewhere like, where is my straight jacket and padded walls? You know, <laughs> just craziness. But anyway, that's what I have for you. I'll see you on Freedom Friday. Here are your questions for the moon and Capricorn. For those of you all who like to write the questions down. First question is, what are your top three priorities this week, this month and year? Second question is, what are your biggest fears? Third question is, do you have specific daily rituals and routines that nourish you, Virgos? Fourth question is, do you reward yourself when you accomplish something? And then last but not least is, how much of your day or week do you block out for self-care and personal development, right? That is what I have for you, and I will see you all on Freedom Friday. Again, don't forget to get your rest. We are in a still in a new moon phase and, um, and you know, that's a, that's a ritual that you just want to, like I said, you got 24 hours in a day, start planning rest, right? Doesn't always mean sleep, 
but so that you don't get don't you so you don't try to carry other people's weight and call let them cause you burn out okay that's what i have for you and i will see you all on friday bye